I went on four dates with four different girls last week, and to be honest, it's really difficult where you both have compatibilities and you want to see each other again. So even though I'm going on it sounds like many dates, it's really difficult for anything to come of it. But let me tell you about all the things that I do to maximize my chances. And I'm I'm only using one dating app, so I'll share you all my secrets to how I'm getting matches and dates. Step one is pick an app. I would say just pick one app. Probably you have to try a few different apps at the beginning and just find which ones are better for you. I've tried Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, OkCupid, and I've had the most success on Hinge. This was a few years back. So based on that reference experience, I picked Hinge and I went all in on it. Here are some tips that I learned from a dating coach. And by the way, I learned it for free on a free webinar, So, but this information was gold. First of all, if you already have a dating app and a profile, then delete the profile, delete the app and start fresh because the algorithm favors new users. New users are bombarded with new people so that you try and stay on the app as much as possible. Over time, if your account has been on that app for a long time, your priority on the list gets lower and lower. Also, if you can, you should blitz as much as you can for one month. That means you pay the maximum amount for the one month and go all in for that one month. So that's what I'm doing. I gave myself the window of one month and I paid the maximum amount on Hinge and I'm going all out. Well, although, to be honest, I'm not even going all out that much. I'm not swiping that much. I'm trying to minimize my phone time. So there is a bit of conflict. So I'm not even taking full advantage of the app. But give yourself a time limit of one week or one month and go all out. By the end of the month, regardless of whether you have found matches or not and seen success or not, if you plan to continue with online dating, you should first delete your account, first delete the app and start fresh again after the end of the month. This will reset the algorithm and favor you into a more favorable position on the priority list. The second thing I do is I did this back in 2020, but I hired a professional photographer. So this is my photo, like this is my YouTube profile picture. So it was super useful, not just for dating apps, but social media in general. And then I put a voice note because I have gotten compliments in the past that I have a nice voice. So I take advantage of that and I use a voice note. If you want to hear my voice note, here it is. Oh, I don't know why it's not playing. Okay, so the voice note is not playing right now, but basically what I said in the voice note note was one thing I'll never do again is go on a date before doing a video call because I've been catfished so badly in the past. By the way, even if you don't have the best voice or anything like that and you haven't gotten compliments on your voice before, leaving a voice note is a great way to give your pr profile way more personality. So I definitely recommend you putting a voice note. And here I put in a joke. It says, what if I told you that I'm a happily married gay man looking for novel experiences? Just kidding, I'm straight and single. That's the joke that I came up with. I'm just trying to inject some humor to try and catch their attention be like what happily married gay man what and then they just kind of get reading into it instead of just the same old thing again and again right i'm not saying it's the best joke or anything that's just something i came up with if you're more creative than me or have something that doesn't involve being gay because you don't want to appear being gay or anything like that then make up your own joke and try to get it a a as eye catchy as possible here are a couple more shots from my session with the professional photography by the way back then i paid 300 dollars for that professional photographer he's raised his price significantly since the pandemic ended and he is now charging over a thousand dollars for a full day of photo shoots. So it does quite cost quite a lot of money even if you find the right person. And here I put in what I'm looking for. The hallmark of a good relationship is where open honesty is a foundation, generosity is mutual, and both parties can give and take feedback without being hypersensitive, looking to grow together. That's not the best thing to put down or anything, but that's just what I'm looking for. You have to kind of filter out the people who read this and say, okay, that's not me, I don't want that. And then they swipe, you want, you want to polarize. So state what you're looking for. Of course, sometimes you have to hear a lot of different people's opinions and then come up with oh yeah that sounds good and maybe use that that's what i did and these pictures were a huge boost for me i got a picture of mochi and tigger i've gotten comments that the only reason they match with me is because i have mochi and tigger in my pictures and some people some girls are looking for guys who have pets so that has been a huge boost for me unknowingly obviously you can't replicate that if you don't have pets but hey maybe if your friend has one you can do a small photo shoot with 
that you're friends pets. We'll get along if you don't need anyone to have a good time. You must like cats and dogs. Again, I'm just stating what I'm looking for. If someone doesn't like animals or cats or dogs in general, then I'm not really interested in that person. If they hate animals or don't really like them, then I don't see any kind of long-term potential. So that's what I do for my profile. Again, to review, the key is you probably need a professional photographer or someone who is pretty good with the camera and getting good shots for you. Also, fashion and fitness. I, I wasn't the most fit at that time. I was actually had a bit of a belly at that time. I've lost weight since then, but fashion and fitness is obviously a huge boost to your profile pictures. Some of the clothes in those pictures were picked out by the photographer himself at Zara, and then I returned the clothes after we were done with the photo shoot. To match with someone, the first message is in, on Hinge, you have to comment on a picture or something like that. And I send a very simple one. If I really like their smile, I'll say, I love your smile and I put a smiley face and I say their name. Obviously, if I don't like their smile, I'm not going to say that. Or if they don't have a smiling picture, then I'm definitely not going to say that. And usually if they don't have a smiling picture, I usually swipe left because like, why do you look so serious? Why so serious? As the Joker says in Batman. Anyways, once I'm on the app, this is where a lot of the matches actually turn into unmatches or at least ignores. I try to get them on a call as quickly as possible. So one thing I'll say is, how do I know you're a real person? For all I know, you could be an old Russian dude in his basement trying to steal my butt virginity. <laughs> and I leave that as a voice note. And I'm obviously having a playful tone and having fun with it. It's funny every time I say it, but it's a reason to screen and get on a call as quickly as possible. I want to get off the app. This is where a lot of girls will say, uh, I don't call with any guy that I've just matched with. In which case, that's the end. I just don't bother trying to get them off the app because they're just going to stay on the app for a long time chatting. And I'm not interested in just messaging for the sake of messaging. So this is where like 90% of matches actually don't convert. But the who are interested, I get their number or WhatsApp or Instagram, and then we hop on a call as soon as we're both available. What to say on a call, what to screen for, what kind of questions to ask, that can be a whole other video on its own. But one of the topics might be relationships, and this can be a topic on the date as well, past relationships, what an ideal relationship is, what a bad relationship looks like to them. I screen, are they an extreme extrovert? Are they an extreme introvert? Do they like hanging out with friends multiple times? a week? Do they like spending a lot of time by themselves? You want to ask questions to screen for, is this the type of person I get along with? If you're just trying to hook up and just trying to get with her because she has a hot ass, then probably none of this applies to you and you're just going to ignore screening questions in general. But these questions are important if you're actually looking for a, a connection and not just a body count to rack up on your number. And one last tip that I'll give you during conversation is that try to say what you think without filtering yourself too much. If you don't know what to say, literally say what you're thinking. Like, damn, right now I'm kind of stumped. I'm not sure what to say right now. Honesty is better than being awkwardly silent and letting the conversation die. So the golden tip is say what you think without filtering yourself so much. Of course, some of you might say, well, the things I'm thinking about are so crazy, so I can't possibly say that. But I've literally heard of a guy who said to girls like, can I pee in your butt? And most of them were turned off by that, but some of them thought it was funny and they actually got interested in the guy just because he they knew he was just having fun. Obviously, if your thoughts are coming from a very needy place and you're saying out needy thoughts online, that'll probably be a huge turnoff because neediness is a huge turnoff. But the point is try and say things without filtering yourself so much, especially when you're getting stumped on what to say next. There are so many conversation tips that I've learned I can't put it all in one video but that's one tip that I would give you right now. Those are most of the dating tips that I can give you as quickly as possible. By the way, I recommend a book called Models by Mark Manson, the author of The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. The subtitle is Attract Women Through Honesty. I found that book to be very helpful. It's about working on yourself to become a better man in order to improve your dating life. Although a lot of the tips that I've shared with you today are actually from other stuff, dating material that I've seen before. Anyways, I'm only doing this online dating for a month, whether anything comes of it or not, because it is a huge distraction when it comes to working on myself. So even if nothing comes of it, I'm going to stop after a month and just focus on improving myself. So let's get 1% better every day, baby. I am surprisingly sore from yesterday's chest and back workout. So today I'm going to do legs, step ups as slowly as possible, five minutes on each leg at least.
Let's do this. Okay, so I did six minutes for each leg. God damn, that was, that was pretty painful. Tigger came to check me out again. <laughs> Tigger, you always have to come in my workout. <laughs> oh, look at Tigger. Good morning, Tigger. <laughs> morning cuddles, Tigger. <laughs> oh, poor Mochi. I got you up, huh? I was just trying to film you lying down. Oh, Mochi. Sorry, Mochi. Tigger came on my lap. Oh, so nice and warm, Tigger. Uh -huh. See Mochi's belly? They shaved her belly because of the ultrasound yesterday. Poor Mochi. <laughs> Poor Mochi's belly. Oh, they shaved your belly, Mochi. Oh, poor Mochi. Oh.